it is still going. Oh my God, the building's gonna fall. This video was shot by Ryan McDonald, about 65 miles away from Sendai, which is close to the quake's epicenter. McDonald is an English teacher living in Japan for nine years and is no stranger to earthquakes. I've just grown accustomed to it because they happen so often, but this one didn't stop. It was sheer terror. I cannot even begin to imagine uh, people closer to the epicenter, how, how bad they felt. Because there are so many aftershocks, McDonald told us he spent part of the night sleeping in his car. He went to check on a nearby evacuation center, but it was packed. For now, he's bunking back in his apartment. This, this was a big bag of water, a five pound bag of water we just lined up and they gave it to us. I have no water service in my apartment. I can't flush the toilet. I can't drink anything. I have no gas. I do have electricity. I have no phone. I have internet. The largest earthquake to hit Japan in the country's recorded history. The 8.9 magnitude quake sent cars over bridges, cracked buildings, and sparked dozens of fires, including this one at a refinery. Hundreds of bodies were found in Sendai City, the epicenter of the earthquake. Amateur video shows people clinging to chairs and bookshelves swaying side to side. A number of strong aftershocks were felt in Tokyo, more than 200 miles away. There is a risk of landslides, mudslides, and collapsing of buildings. One resident who has lived in Japan for eight years described the quake. Right now, Tokyo is in a state of gridlock. Uh, all of the major train lines have stopped. Uh, many stores are closed, and a lot of commuters and uh, workers and people who are just downtown are, are basically trapped there for the night. Tsunami warnings were issued in dozens of countries, including the entire U.S. West Coast and Hawaii, where tsunami waves are already rolling in.